Hey everybody, last video we posted a week ago on Friday and we went from 369 subscribers to 384 subscribers. We want to get all the way up to 400 subscribers after this video. So look in the right hand corner of this video and click that subscribe button for this channel. The Montreal Canadiens rookie camp opened up yesterday and their training camp is set to kick off next week. So I wanted to do a little video talking about some of the surprises that could occur at Montreal Canadiens camp and head into the regular season as well. Now we talked about it in prior videos, but the one Montreal Canadian I'm keeping a very close eye on in this rookie camp is Matthias Norlander coming all the way over from Sweden, and he definitely made an impact on the first day of rookie camp. He just looks like a player that can really make that transition to the National Hockey League very smoothly. There are some question marks about his defensive ability at this current time, but he's a puck mover, he's very quick on his feet, and he makes good decisions with the puck for the most part. The biggest concern for him is that this Montreal Canadiens brass really seems to like players that are more defensively responsible and 200 foot players in their own zone so I really don't get the sense that he's going to make the Habs out of training camp especially if they don't give him the ability to be the type of player that he is and not that stay at home defenseman like a David Savard or a Ben Chirot per se. I look at this Montreal Canadiens roster on defense and I think that Chris Weidman could be the one wild card for this Habs team on the blue line because he brings something that not a lot of players on this team have right now. He has some offensive upside and puck moving capability and I really think he could be a good fit on that second pairing with Ben Chirot depending on what they decide to do on that third pairing which I think should be David Savard and Alexander Romanov. It just makes too much sense to have Savard with that kind of rookie sophomore defenseman that really can help him transition into the National Hall. League. I think that Romanov is going to take a big step forward this season and I think Savard would be the perfect partner for him to help him make him do that. With what everything we know about this Montreal Canadiens team right now, they want to start Romanov on the left side this season and play in there for the majority of the season, which I think is a good decision for the young defenseman. I really believe this is a big season for him and he could take a step forward, much like we saw Nick Suzuki do in his sophomore season for the Montreal Canadiens. Up front is where there's a lot of question marks though for this Habs team, specifically on the fourth line as we enter training camp. We're really going to have to see who earns that fourth line center spot, whether it's Ryan Paley making the jump in training camp and impressing the Habs brass so much that they give him that position, or a guy like Cedric Paquette, a veteran that really wants to play in front of his hometown team and make that impact on the Habs fourth line. But right now, as we know it, there are so many bodies that could take a position on the Habs fourth line, so we're going to have to keep an eye on that as training camp approaches. The fact that there's so many bodies up front though, unless Ryan Paling has a very breakout camp for this Montreal Canadiens team, I don't really see a scenario where he starts with the big club on the fourth line, but it really will be up to him and depend on how he comes into camp, whether he's in great shape, whether he's been skating all summer. It really depends on him and what he brings to the table during this training camp. I know that he wants to be on the big club and if it wasn't for a concussion during last season training camp, he might have made the team out of training camp as well. So I really need to keep a close eye on Paling during this training camp and see if he's made the appropriate steps to be a full-time NHL player this season. Therefore, there's really three players that I think could surprise come training camp for the Montreal Canadiens, and they're actually all defensemen. Matthias Norlander is someone I think is going to make a big impression on Habs fans and Habs brass as well during training camp. Chris Weidman, the veteran defenseman, coming back over to the NHL. I think this is a make-or-break season for this defenseman. It's going to be his last chance in the National Hockey League, most likely, and he's going to want to make the best of it and show that he can still provide some offense at the NHL level. And the last player is a former Montreal Canadiens first-round pick, and that is Caden Gooley. I really believe Gooley is going to impress a lot of people at training camp and potentially in the main camp as well. This is a player that has a fairly high ceiling for this Montreal Canadiens team. There's a reason they selected him in the first round. I really believe believe he's going to be a steady top four defenseman for this team for a very long time and I think he's going to impress a lot of people much like he did at the World Juniors for Team Canada last season. That's it for me today from Cook's Corner. As always, let me know in the comment section down below who you think is going to surprise at Montreal Canadiens training camp beginning next week. I'm Zach Cook. We'll see you later.